Hello everybody, I am Ibrahim Al Atsani and I'm here to take you in another journey with an interview with those who have shaped the culture, our culture, regardless of the magnitude of that effect. Part of the culture is the art, and the art take different forms. Among the special forms of art in the Arabic world and in the Islamic world is the calligraphy the special writing that has that beautiful shape. When did it start? How did it start? Does it have a style? Did it develop with time? We will get to an the answers for all those questions with our interview with our guest. But before we go to the interview, let us watch this short report. Welcome back again. We stopped with Mr. Ali al -Badah about the styles of the uh, calligraphy. I, I, I mean, I, I thought it's, it's only like an art, but there are many, 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 many styles. So uh, can you name for us some yes. of those? Let me tell you something. For about uh, 400 years, the Kufic was uh, the only type which used for writing a Quran because it's the most beautiful kind. During these uh, years, uh, the calligraphers, they developed a new kinds, like muhaqqaq, rayhan, nasr, thulth. All of these kinds developed during these years, and it becomes more beautiful. So for that, the, callig the calligraphers dis uh, discovered that they can now use these things to write in Quran. Now, now excuse me, uh, those, those styles, they, they, they rooted from al-Kufi or... No, 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 it's a different style. Okay. And that's why we call them uh, the Kufic, they call it the al Khat the, uh, means the, 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 the sharp edges of okay. calligraphy. Huh? And the other kinds, al Khat al Layn, al Khutut al Layn, the, the uh, smooth, it's used, uh, I mean, it's used uh, in writing letters and writing other books. Mm -hmm. But at the beginning, it wasn't very beautiful. But after developing it, after practice, uh, practice from a lot of calligraphers, it developed and becomes a good thing. Uh, I mean, a good calligraphy to used in writing Quran. And because it's faster than the Kufic, that's why uh, it's now, after that, it started to be written, uh, and the Quran started to, to be written in these kinds, like Muhaqqa, Nesq, Rayhan, Tulutha. And after that, they didn't use Kufic in writing Quran because it takes a long time, and this is faster and also more beautiful. During writing, the, using these kinds in writing Quran, it's also developed more and more. The calligraphers take care more about these kinds to, to give it more beautiness to, to, to use it in writing Quran. Some of these types in, are not used now, like Muhaqqaq, Rayhan. You can't you, you see it. Why, uh, why, why be, is that? I don't know. Sometimes, sometimes. So can you, this is you mean disappeared or, uh, or not used anymore? Okay. Uh, until now, you can use and you can see it in some of the artworks only. Okay. But the types which until now used is nesh and thuluth. Also, there there is different kinds. It's established or started in different areas, and until now it's used. Like when you say shikista, it's a Persian name for a kind. It's used only in that area, the eastern area, in, in, in Iran now, in Pakistan, Afghanistan. This is developed or established there, and they use it. It's uh, replaced, I mean, in, in, the, in the opposite side, in the eastern side, we use Nesq. They use Nesq Ta'liq, and they, from this kind, they establish Shekhistah. That's why its name is Persian. Uh, you can't find it in different areas. You find it only some of the countries, for example. Also in the western side, in Morocco, in uh, Tunisia, in Algeria, you will find the kinds which are not used on the eastern part, like uh, we call it uh, the Moroccan style, Khat al-Maghribi. And it has different ties, Khat Mabsut, Maghribi Mabsut, Mujawhar Fasi, from Fas. Okay? So when you focus in some areas, you will discover that they use special kinds or these kinds all in these areas. But when you collect all these, you will find more than you imagine of kinds. So as I told you, some kinds is developed till, the, till now, and some kinds is started from an old 
years I mean, from all nations. And after that, after a while, after four or hundred uh, or six hundred days, it's not used anymore. I don't know why. Sometimes, for example, the Kufic during the Ottoman Empire, because of the, uh, of the rulers of that empire, and also because they didn't li like this style, they stopped using Kufic. And it stopped for about, uh, let's say, three or four hundred years. But because of a calligrapher in Egypt, he started to reuse it. it. Oh, okay. That's why uh, we discovered that Kufic again started to be used in our country. No. Now, now, there must be uh, a, a point in time or an incident, or, or, or what is it that, that uh, draw you to calligraphy? I mean, when, when did you find that gift? I discovered that uh, since the first year in school. Well, I know for sure that my handwriting is very, very bad. Oh, okay, not so bad. <laughs> I will tell you something. I believe that you and all of the viewers now will be happy to hear it. Let me tell you something. I believe in a fact, which is our God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gave us all the same abilities. I mean, all of the people in the world, all of the people in the universe, they can be a calligraphist if they want. So calligraphy is, is, it's an art is not could, a gift. It's an art could be learned. So it can be learned. Yes, it's an art, has rules, has an special instruments, has a master's, who can learn, teach you how to write this kind, how to write these letters, how to reach... A Regardless good, of their age, uh, their background, whatever. Not to put But you, you need to have a passion. Okay. You need to, be, to have, to have uh, enthusiasm okay. for this kind of art. Okay. That's why, this is the difference. So if you have it, you can learn you know, it. As, as you know that you can, all of the people can be a painters. All of them can be mag magicians. Any, any, any pe people, they can become what they want. If they have the passion. Oh, if they have the passion. So, the so first not year. important is, I want to tell you something about a famous calligrapher. Mm -hmm. uh, his name is Muhammad Asad al Yasari. During the Ottoman Empire, uh, he, uh, the, the right part of, of his body, he can use the right part. Paralyzed? Yes. Okay. So he was a, a very thin person and a small body, I mean, when he go to the, one of the masters, he want to learn calligraphy, he refused to teach him because he, he found this, he will spend a lot of effort with somebody who will not do anything. So he go to another master and he accepted him. In one week, his master said that Muhammad Asad al Isari shows an ability of learning better than the others. The others. Wow. And he became one of the most important masters in this kind of calligraphy. So you can imagine a, a person with a, 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 a small body, with a problem with his right side of body, and he can't be, that's why they call it Yasari, which means he's using the left, left hand. hand. Okay, okay. And he become one of the masters in calligraphy till now. So that means even if you have a problem, let me say, uh, in your body, you can use other part. Huh? If you can't use your right hand, you can use your left hand. But if you have, as, as we said before, if you have a passion, you will be a calligrapher. Yeah, uh, uh, to, to also add to what you have said, uh, I know that uh, you have uh, given the, uh, you taught some Westerners yes. who, who don't know much about Arabic uh, calligraphy, and, and I've seen how they write the letter and how they beautifully shaped it. So, so even, even non-Arabs, can, can learn it, but if they have the passion. And let me tell you something. Regardless of the, the language, the beauty is of the letters, of the Arabic letters, it attracts anybody, even the people who don't speak Arabic. The beauty is of the letters. That's why they, a lot of the Westerns, a lot of the people who don't speak Arabic even, they would like to learn how to write Arabic calligraphy. So for that, we teach a lot of people from Canada, from Germany, from uh, America, and we, I know a lot of calligraphers. They are my friends. Some of them from Japan, Japanese, and some of them from the United States, some of them from uh, Spain, some of them from different countries, and they learned Arabic calligraphy, and now they've become a calligraphers. So because of, beauty, of the beauty of the calligraphy, that's why it attracts the people, even though if they don't understand 
the, 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 the meaning of, uh, of the writing. So for that now, we have some of the calligraphers who don't write specific uh, sentences or uh, verses from Quran or whatever. They write only letters and combine between them and using them to show the beauty of the Arabic calligraphy. Mr. Ali, it's been a pleasure and honor meeting with you and we would like to thank you for enlightening us and give us more about the knowledge of, of, of calligraphy and how it, it developed. Uh, I really hope that, that someone who is, 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 is watching us will learn and have the passion to learn calligraphy and also a wish that someone would establish a center to teach uh, the art of, of, of calligraphy so we can preserve it. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Dear all, we came to the conclusion of our episode. Until we meet again with another figure and another guest who participated in changing our culture, I'm Brahim Latsani and good day. Thank you.